Hey, what's up guys? Mags here. Today we've got another video. We're going to go over a volume profile with candlesticks. This is the end result. So to start off, we're going to go File, New. Uh, it doesn't really matter, historical or intraday. We'll just click historical. I don't think it matters. We're going to change the time frame to 15 minutes. Really doesn't matter. Change the candlesticks to just regular candlesticks. F6, volume by price, right here, volume by price. This is Sierra's version of a volume profile. That's just how they word it. Okay, uh, important settings, the tick size. Uh, we'll mess around with this. We'll start off with just 10. The, uh, the graph type, this is pretty important because we're going to do multiple bars going to change the time to minutes and the fixed amount we're just going to default it to four hours let's let that load up for a second there number of bars based to count on we'll jump that up to 100 maybe Go ahead and make this transparent. I want to highlight the point of control, highlight the value area, and extend the value area. And then the draw type, we're going to use hollow volume bars. Okay, I'm going to go to the color section. Just going to use the random stuff that I've been using. Should do it. Okay, there we go. The reason why this setup is so great is it makes the voids very obvious right so for instance you see this void from yesterday's move up it's pretty likely that price is going to sweep through that as it just did this is an easy long that i just took i filled longs here and i'm starting to take profit in the video i can look at my other monitor and i see that i have already taken profit twice automatically just by setting my limits on the book so this is a way that we can use this, right? We look for the inefficiencies. We wait for the inefficiencies to be cleaned up. And then we react based off of how it uh, interacts at that level, right? So we saw a quick bounce. You can either be someone like me who will often keep limits there and will add on when it starts to go my way. But in this case, I just filled all my limits there and I'm more or less trading it like it's automated and hands off. Just watching the order flow, make sure that it keeps going my way. And um, that's pretty much that. But uh, it's pretty basic stuff we got here. Point of control, value area, deviation from value. I went ahead and extended the lines out. I really like that feature. Just makes everything really easy to visualize. You can do that with single prints. You can do that with poor highs and poor lows. You could do that with the point of control. Um, the options are quite literally endless in Sierra. Thanks, guys.